Hello everybody, welcome back to FTL. It's time to start off a brand new game. I'm probably gonna go ahead and give the, uh, the Federation Cruiser layout A another go. I don't feel I gave it the proper, uh, send-off for our last expedition. So let's go ahead and start off with a brand new trek with the Federation Cruiser, or as it's been commonly and fondly known, the penis ship. Because, come on, let's just all be honest with ourselves. Time to go to a distress beacon. Right after we go here. I'm hoping that we have a better turnout this time. I'm certainly going to enjoy the, uh, the beginning of... Oh my goodness, apparently my shield level's been disabled. Uh, it's unpowered, and I don't know really why that is. Something is going amiss in the shield room, and I think it may have something to do with the fact that this ship is, uh... Maybe... Uh, maybe designed to take down levels of my available power into shield systems, but as that's the case, I'm probably going to have to invest a little bit more of my time and energy into the evasion there to make sure that that doesn't completely ruin my chances of success here. That is very interesting. Why in the world is that power down? Disabled by enemy or location, they must have something on this ship that's disabling my shield abilities, at least. Okay, so it was that ship. Maybe I just completely uh, abandoned the opportunity to read into the exact situation we were in just then. I probably could have learned a little bit more about why that had happened. But nonetheless, that was a decent enough start. Got a little bit of scrap out of that. Probably going to want to power up the same kind of things we were doing last time as well. Going to go ahead and hail the refugees here. They want two drone parts and they give us six fuel in return. I think I'm down for that one now that we don't really have any kind of drone to uh, take care of. And that gives us some extra fuel to make it quite a while, I believe. Uh, the distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. I'll go ahead and try to help out. Uh, we have an NG crew member. Luckily, I, uh, well, I didn't know that that was going to be the case, but that makes it quite a bit easier for us. That's a free 20 scrap 3 fuel and drone part. Nice! Very good dr distress beacon to start off with. Let's go ahead and hit up this next one because we are quite well prepared for it anyway. Another uh, distress beacon that requires a thing that we have, such as the artillery beam. We need to cut out the mining belts. Yeah, belts. There we go. 16 scrap. Wonderful. All right, this has been a pretty damn good start thus far. I think I might be uh, wanting to look into the upgrades available for this 60 scrap that we just picked up. Let's see. You know what I could do is just go for that level 2 shield again, and then I might even be able to take power out of systems and get my uh, get myself up to level 2 very quickly. Let's go ahead and do that. It's always a worthwhile upgrade, I think, to uh, get the shield system underway very, very quickly. If we get 9 scrap from some kind of random beacon here, we're going to be in really good shape. I'm not thinking I'm going to be able to go very far down this way. It's looking like my best bet will probably be to try to cut them off through the nebula and then take advantage of this nice little cluster here. We're going to go probably up to uh, BAM, maybe even BAM, and then boom, 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 something like that. So let's go ahead and try that out. See how lucky we get with the uh, layout with the surroundings of the environment. All right, never going to surrender crew to the slavers? Of course not! We a strong, independent penis ship who don't need no pirates. God, I wish I hadn't said that out loud. Oh, such is uh, such is life when you are when you are Bear Taffy the YouTube Let's Player. That's just basically what happens to you every step of the way. Nonetheless, though, I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble dispersing, dispatching rather, of these pirate invaders. They're probably gonna give me another crew member, which I am more than happy to take, of course. Last time we ran with the Federation Cruiser Layout A, we unfortunately lost a couple of crew members very early on, and that led to my unfortunate demise in something like Sector 4 or 5, and I definitely don't want to have a repeat of the uh, last expedition here, so hopefully this goes better than we originally expected it to. The artillery beam is actually going to be able to fire right the hell now. Fantastic. It looks like we got Karis. Karis is an uh, NG, and an NG belongs somewhere that they hopefully won't have to fight, namely the doors area, because that will actually allow us to hopefully keep intruders at bay and maybe even suffocate them in an area that they are no longer able to access. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to go through with my original plan, jumping from point to point. Unfortunately, there is nothing of uh, remarkable interest in that particular area, so let's go ahead and keep on going through the nebula. Hopefully that scares off the uh, pursuing... Oh my goodness, an unknown weapon would have been fantastic, but we're going to go ahead and attack the ship and see if maybe we can just access that for ourselves by virtue of force and just bad neighborship, really. I I'm being a dick is all it boils down to, trying to sell me his wares, and all I do is try to annihilate him. That's... 
basically what will happen if you live next door to me at some point in your life. I'll say like, hey man, you want some uh, cookies? And then I'll invite you inside and I'll beat you over the head. That's, that's my life in a nutshell. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> enough about my terrible interactions with the law. Let's go back to the Burst Laser Mark II, which is slowly but surely whittling down their, uh, their defenses here, their shield system of overcharge, and luckily their laser and halberd beam have not actually been able to synchronize together. Just took the laser offline, so we won't be taking any damage from these guys. Can't accept the surrender there, buddy. Unfortunately, we're going to go ahead and have to kill you. Looks like the best bet for me anyway. I think I should be able to get enough scrap from you guys to be able to power up my level 2 shields here. Looks good to me. We're going to go ahead and take out the power of the medbay and go like that, and then we're going to be in really good shape with level 2 shields already only midway through the first sector, so this is looking pretty damn fantastic. Unfortunately, I didn't have the scrap necessary for the unknown weapon. A harsh plasma storm is uh, whittling down my available power. I'm certainly going to have to take this out of here and hope that my burst laser Mark II is enough to uh, to get things done here. Looks like he's got himself... Looks like maybe a missile launcher. I can't really tell, but of course I'm going to be wanting to whittle down this, uh, the weapon systems anyway in uh, anticipation of bad dealings. It looks like I actually just took his entire weapon system offline, so perhaps this is just like a, a well-disguised piece of the ship that's designed to make me think I'm in more danger than I actually am. That could totally be the case. That'd be pretty awesome, actually. No need for the artillery beam, of course. One level of uh, shields is going to do just fine here. They're trying to power up the FTL and escape. They actually might be able to get away before I can use my burst laser again. I hope that's not going to be the case. I really hope they don't repair the shield system before we do this and then get very lucky with evasions. But nonetheless, Rebel Rigger destroyed 14 scrap out of that. We need somebody uh, to power up the engine. I realize that's actually what's stopping us from doing this right now. So away we go out of the Ion Storm and into another unvisited locale. We're going to have to put the power back in the systems, of course. A rebel space station and single fighter is monitoring this beacon for Federation activity. A number of civilian ships are docked, awaiting the inspection by rebels and possibly detainment. They haven't noticed me yet. Uh, let's go ahead and fend for myself. I can, I'm can. i pretty sure I can handle the, uh, the attack here. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. Go ahead and start off the burst laser. They got themselves a burst laser of their own as well as a missile launcher. That just took out my entire O2 system. That is a big deal. Let's go ahead and move you over this way. Uh, actually, you know what? I should be able to uh, suffocate the fire out of that room. So let's take this off. Keep the blast doors online because uh, if I recall correctly, that actually hinders the air, the uh, fire's ability to spread. This is a pretty intense missile launcher, though. I'm pretty worried about that. Uh, I really need that fire to go out. Hopefully the artillery beam will show up at some point here as well. Need to take that missile launcher offline, so hopefully that gets through. There we go. Fantastic. The O2 room is now depleted of fire. We're going to go ahead and open all the system doors and allow oxygen to get back into that area. Of course, the oxygen is not actually supplying the ship. Or rather, you know, just rearranging that sentence to make it make sense. If you could just go ahead and do my job for me, please. <laughs> That <laughs> would make my life a lot easier. Alright, O2's back online. I haven't even actually saved the uh, positions here. I gotta make sure I'm putting everybody in the right spot. I actually gotta have these two help out with repairs here as well real quick to get the engines back online. I'm not actually losing anything at the moment. Weapons are offline. The FTL is being powered up. Seven missiles! Hmm. I'm sorry I just so loudly exclaimed that, but it was a very shocking development here. That is tempting. I don't know if I want the scrap or if I want those seven missiles. That's a lot. I think I have to take that. Now they just took the O2 offline again. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this. We have an extra power bar, but I, yeah, that's going into the O2 room. Okay, man, those guys are so quick at freaking repairing stuff. It's rad. All right, you're going to go back into the shield room like you were. You were going to go back in the doors. Liu Jin and Maxwell don't really need to heal up that bad. I think they're going to be okay. Let's go ahead and save crew positions for the time being. Shut those doors again. I'm going to allow... You know what? I actually might as well just heal them up considering I'm going to have to wait around for the... Uh... Oh, God. That's not the shield room. I'm an idiot. All right. <laughs> Let's take the power out of here. Go ahead and heal these guys up real fast. And then we'll put the power back in the O2 system again. Put everybody back to positions except i got to reassign you to this shield room right there. There you go, buddy. We're going to actually press the hotkey like a genius to save stations. And then we're going to go ahead and jump off 
into the beacon adjacent to the exit. I don't even know if I want to go to that store, honestly, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have a choice if I go there. Man, I wish these two swapped places. That would be extremely convenient for me. I don't think I want to take the chance right now. I think I'd rather go to the store in hopes that there's something of value here aside from me wanting to, you know, like, sell missiles or something. Uh, not gonna happen. Okay, so that's unfortunate. There's obviously nothing I can afford. With 27 scrap, a glaive beer? <laughs> why, why you gotta show me that? Game? God damn it. Uh, if only I had, like, everything I could possibly sell right now. That is a bunch of balls. Oh, man. If only. It looks so pretty. But no dice. Alright. No such luck with uh, trying to get some extra stuff in there either, so that's too bad. Of course we're gonna act to act to act to act a fool. We're gonna attack the automated ship to get storage caches. Obviously that's gonna happen. He's actually damaging my uh, weapon system here, so I'm gonna have to have the NGA come in here and distract him from dealing any more damage for the time being. There we go. Their weapons are offline. We should probably go for the mind control next, just in case something terrible happens. Luckily, we managed to avoid taking the burst laser offline before the worst could possibly arise. Mind control is offline. The weapon systems are totally down. I think we're going to be just fine here. Auto surveyor ain't going to do us too much harm. No way, no how. Fantastic. I likes it. All right, investigate the station. We got an anti-ship beam drone. If only we could use it. But we also got an extra little bit of scrap. If I were a gambling man, I might consider the opportunity of going back to this store, selling my burst laser and getting a glaive beam. That would render me weaponless, but I could always just kind of wait out with two shields and glaive or the uh, artillery beam until I'm able to power up the glaive beam. I really think that's a terrible idea, though, so I'm going to go ahead and not do that. We'll make our way into a civilian sector here, avoid going through a couple of uncharted nebulas uh, to potentially ruin my life. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the rebels pursue and catch you and smack you over the head and make you say silly things in front of your parents. Let's go this way. Bada bing, bada boom, burst laser two. Let's do it. Nothing. Crap. All right, let's try this out. I think there's enough nebula in here to maybe slow them down to the point where I could probably explore quite a bit more than I initially thought I could. That's a big ass burst laser they got there, and there's also intruders on board. They're trying to get into the uh, engine room at the moment, if I can try to suffocate them out of that place. You know, I've actually got the uh, mantis in there, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue, but I, uh, oh, you know what? That's actually only a single charge laser, so maybe I want to try to target something else here. Yeah, that's a, their uh, entire weapon system offline, so not too many concerns for me right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm actually going to make sure, uh, okay, yeah, I just wanted to see. Make sure the uh, volume of the game is not overwhelming at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this again. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to suffocate these guys. He might be able to handle them by himself, actually. I think he's gonna be just fine in there. Yep. Good job, Maxwell. Taking care of business, buddy. Alright. They got their weapon back online, but it actually is not an issue at all. The burst laser is gonna take their crew teleporter out as well, so, uh, should be just fine. Nothing they can threaten me with. They're trying to escape. The artillery beam is not actually gonna charge before the burst laser gets there, so hopefully... They don't miraculously avoid all those shots, and there they go. Fantastic! Ooh! Faint life signatures from an intact piece of the hole. They were transporting prisoners, and we got Yaz! Wonderful! Looks like another Rockman of a different breed, apparently. The uh, crew member Yaz has no particular specialities, but he will indeed be manning the, uh, the sensor area of the ship. Hopefully give us a little bit of an advantage looking into the uh, enemy territory. I'm going to go ahead and buy another power bar here and uh, just make it easy for myself to power the med bay and then be able to switch off to the uh, engines. A little bit of extra engine stuff. I don't think I need to heal Allison, but Mayfan is actually right here, so it's probably not going to be that big of an issue to heal him up. Maxwell's almost backed up to full strength. There we go. We're going to set back to stations. Actually going to assign stations again, so we make sure that... Uh, Yaz is where he needs to be. We're going to take the power out of there, put it in the engines, and have a little bit extra of a chance. Fantastic. There's a store right there. I could go, but I think I'm ruining my opportunities for better stuff if I do that, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get anything anyway, so let's go ahead and end this way and try to stock up some scrap. Obviously attack the slaver scum. Might even be able to get an extra crew member here as well. Be pretty freaking fantastic. They got some level 2 shields. Which means I'm more than likely going to want to try to, uh... 
try to get another weapon, something that can pierce through some of these shield systems. Oh my god, lucky fire chance right there. That worked out pretty fantastically for me. They're not going to be able to do any damage to me, I don't think. The ion might disable a shield level, but I don't think their single burst laser is going to get through regardless, so... Not too much of an issue here. Probably should focus more on the shields than I am the weapon system now that that's the case and I am aware of it. Pretty sure this is going to be an issue though. There we go. Shields are almost completely down again. Going to take down the FTL just in the off chance that they try to escape. Pirate Light Surveyor should be taken out pretty damn soon. There goes that. They're completely offline. Their shields actually might get back up to full strength. The artillery beam is going to make quick work of them. I am going to accept Trico even though I... Uh, don't really need him, but it does help to have another Rockman on board. Certainly, I don't want to argue with that. I'll put him in the O2 room on, in the, uh, again, on the off chance. I haven't been saying that a lot today. It's a nice phrase. The off chance that the uh, enemy somehow lights a fire in there. Mr. Uh, Mr. Eco. Mr. Oh, Trico. Sorry, I was going to say his name is Eco. Eat Eki. Mr. Trico would uh, be able to put out that fire pretty quickly, and uh, something just broke on my ship. What the hell just happened? Uh... I swear I just heard, like, the sound of a computer malfunctioning, literally. Hope that that wasn't, like, in my actual home or something like that. That'd be bad. All right, a little bit of level up for everybody. Fantastic. They actually got some damage through, but luckily, uh, Mr. Cardis is inside of the door area, ready to repair it at a moment's notice. That's fantastic. First laser taken down their entire weapon system. Wonderful as well. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and focus on, uh, you know, I'll keep the focus there. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. So we got a full crew here now. This is pretty awesome. That means that I will more than likely not be trying to uh, take crew off of a pirate ship. I will, in fact, destroy their ships and gather scrap as a result. Trying to uh, determine whether or not I really need to spend anything on uh, ship upgrades. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be better off saving a bunch of my scrap to potentially buy another weapon. Definitely don't need to take a bunch more missiles. I already have plenty in case I get a missile launching weapon at the moment. Be just fine here. Fantastic. The Rebel Invader goes down. We get 17 scrap out of that as well as a bit of fuel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be better off saving a little bit of my scrap to hopefully buy another weapon and maybe even upgrade the uh, weapon system itself. All right, intruders on board. I've got plenty of crew to deal with this. I shouldn't have too big of an issue. Let's go ahead and bring our two strongest guys in here to help out the Mantis. Uh, you need to go in there as well, dude, John. Let's hopefully, uh... You know, I, I was reading the comments, actually, about the fact that I could possibly just suffocate everyone out of the other systems and make it a lot easier for myself but at the same time it's not really hurting me to uh to uh, potentially just allow this to happen as well of course we're going to take power out of this i'm going to have to uh kind of micromanage here i don't think i really need to fight at the moment i'm going to go ahead and get guys back up to just about full strength here a couple of their uh, crew members are already dying so i might not even have to do a little bit more micromanaging here i think everybody's going to be just fine i will have to heal up of course all right there we go Lots of combat stats for everybody. Trico is going to go in here and heal up. It looks like Maxwell is just about healed, so he's going to go back to his post. Karas needs to go back in the medbay as well. Liu Jun is done. He's going to go back to the pilot's seat. Awesome. All right, that went quite well. I'm very happy with the uh, with the outcome of that intruder on board situation. All right, as soon as they're done healing up, we're going to take this back out of here, put it in the engine room. Everybody goes back to posts. Uh, Trico actually has not been assigned to the O2 room, so I'm going to go ahead and have to do that right now. That is quite the walk for hefty yaws, man. That would be so wonderful to watch a giant rock walking through your system room like, Hey, how's it going? Hump day, right? Ha ha ha! What if you, like, worked with a massive rock dude? Like, how, how would you just, like, act like that's normal? It's ridiculous. Whoa! Hang on a second. We weren't expecting company to stay out of this. They want to just give me a weapon pre-igniter. Yeah, I want to get that. Absolutely. That is the best deal I've ever seen in my life. Thank you, Pirate Scout in Sector 2. Oh my god. That was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go down here even though it seems like a bad, bad idea. Oh my god. Weapon pre-igniter out of nowhere, man. Oh my god, that is amazing. Alright, I'm actually going to try to take their crew teleporter offline before they can even get their people in there. Wonderful. That helps me out quite a bit. They do have a missile launcher. I might have wanted to target that first, but that's okay. Okay, somehow they still got it. That's a bunch of balls. And they launched the missile too. And it gets into the shield room, but whatever. It doesn't really matter for this particular instance. I am going to probably just let this happen. I think I can bring Maxwell over here and... Uh yeah, this shouldn't be that big of an issue. The burst laser has already taken their missile launcher completely offline, so... Maxwell's gonna be in here. Uh, Maxwell and Allison shouldn't have too much trouble. 
dispersing of this threat on their own. Yep, there they go. All right, fantastic. Everybody go back to posts. Maxwell, you're actually going to go ahead and heal up right now, buddy, because I'm pretty sure they're not going to be dealing any damage to me anyway. I'm sure I could be handling onboard intruders in a much more optimal way, but honestly, it's really not that big of a deal to me. As long as they get taken care of, I'm not going to worry about whether or not I'm doing it the best possible way. That can pretty much be said about everything I do in FTL, and really any game in general, honestly. 19 scrap, fantastic. Good stuff. Ma, fine, you should probably go heal up as well now that we've got the uh, med bay online. So what do I really want to do here? I've got 89 scrap, which is probably enough to get a decent weapon. Now that I've got the weapon pre-igniter, that actually kind of makes my decisions for me. If only I had the glaive beam! Oh my god, we'd be in business, man! Like, I wouldn't even have an issue anymore. Oh, that would be so beautiful, but... Alas! We did not have the opportunity, if only I'd known, but you can't... Can't expect a bear to predict the future, you can only expect him to shit in the woods, and that's only when he feels like it, too. Still got plenty of fuel. Missile launcher could be awesome as well. They want to do that, which seems like a good idea to me, especially considering I don't really have missiles to use right now. I'm going to take a chance and go down this way. Hopefully the uh, Rebel Pursuit is slowed by the nebula we continue to cross through. Nothing in the nebula down there. I'm going to go ahead and jump this way. Taking a few chances, but I think we'll be just fine. Uh, screen lights up with warnings. Nearby pirate is hacking tools, and they've shut down my engines. Okay, I do have the burst laser available at the moment. They have a system repair drone. I think I want to take that offline immediately. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Wonderful. Uh, engines are down one level, which means we do have power in the med bay at the moment, so not that big of a deal. They've got a single fire laser. Okay, well, that's offline now, you scallywags. We're going to try to keep the drones offline. This is kind of a shitty ship, isn't it? A pirate rigger. Yeah, they're not going to do too well for themselves here. Yep, goodbye drones. And uh, I'm going to take your FTL offline as well, actually, because I have the... I have the slightest hinkling that maybe you'll try to escape with the knowledge that your ship is woefully undergunned. Outgunned, maybe. <laughs> That's probably the best word to use. Alright, artillery beam is almost online. We're gonna go ahead and take that completely off. Artillery beam fires away and completely destroys them. 27 scrap, 5 fuel, that's fantastic. Still haven't found a store down here, unfortunately, but uh, doing what we can still. I don't know about this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump here. I'm gonna see what they're doing as far as their uh, pursuit is concerned. I don't actually know if we're slowing them down enough. Repair 5 damage for 10 scrap. That's not a bad deal, but I also don't really need it. So let's go ahead and keep what we've got. Store is a good idea. Kind of glad I sca saved that extra scrap there. All right. So, obviously, uh, well, you know what? Drone control would be pretty good because we already do have a drone available, and it depends on what they give me. Yeah, so we'd have two drones already. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be okay with that. Cloaking is good as well. Unfortunately, I can't afford it. We do need another weapon of some sort. One damage per room. There's a shield, obviously. Da, 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 da. Ion blast. That's that costs a lot, but uh, it is, no, that's not really worth it. I don't know, man. Yeah, ion blast to me isn't really that worthwhile. A firebomb could be good. Self teleporting explosive designed to damage crew members and light fires. That seems like a that seems like a worthwhile purchase to me. Let's go ahead and look at other options here. Drone control seems tempting because we would have two drones available already, and that would basically eliminate my need to purchase anything further. The burst laser can obviously whittle down the shield shield systems. If I upgrade the artillery beam, which is obviously a good idea as well, that could certainly help me out. So I'd have a beam drone, and I'd have a, uh, a oh this is oh this is a defense drone. I'm a dummy. All right, I'm glad I realized that just now. Okay, so maybe that's not the best idea. Mind control could be good, too. Oh, man, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. What if I sell, sell that? Unfortunately, that's not enough for cloaking. That would basically be my, uh, my end-all, be-all purchasing choice here. That would certainly be worthwhile. Mind control is tempting. But I do need a second weapon, and I think a firebomb might be worthwhile. I'm gonna go with a firebomb here. I think I'm gonna take a chance on this. I kind of- I'm just curious, honestly. I wanna see whether or not this is gonna be very effective. So, we'll go ahead and roll with the firebomb for now. I've already got two more power slots, so I could, uh, potentially power it if I manage to take down power from something else. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take the power out of the artillery beam for a little while, and just see if I can roll with the firebomb for the time being. 
see how well that does. We're not really relying on it that much anyway. In fact, I might just keep the power out of that until I'm able to upgrade it a couple of levels, and then I'll be able to utilize it more effectively. Alright, I feel good about that. I feel good about that. Attack the pirate, of course. We're going to test out our new wares here. We've got a firebomb ready immediately. Let's start a fire in the, uh... Let's start a fire in the shield room? I wish I had my sensors upgraded a little bit more, uh, although uh, in the nebula it, it should, certainly wouldn't help out that much. Looks like they only have one invader, and he's going to meet up with my mantis friend and unfortunately be uh, immediately executed. I'm going to take the auto fire off the firebomb, but I actually am going to go ahead and let another one into the O2 room as well. They're trying to escape. Maybe I want the firebomb in the, uh... Ooh, hey, there's our sensors. Nice. Oh my god, that thing is going to be pretty awesome, isn't it? I think I'm going to enjoy the, uh, the purchasing, purchasing decision I made just now of the firebomb. That's going to be pretty fantastic. Engines are offline. Doesn't matter. They're dead. Wonderful. 18 scrap. Oh, they got extra ship map data. Unfortunately, that means nothing to me now that I'm nearing the exit of this area. I'm going to go ahead and buy um, one scrap away from the power bar. That's a bunch of balls. All right, power to the O2 into the med bay. Get Maxwell back up to full force. I suppose Trico could be my uh, wandering assailant assailer as well. That could certainly be of value. Get Maxwell's little chittering legs scurry him about. It's beautiful. Head off to the exit. Here we go. Let's make our way. Uh, accept the offer of three drone parts for four fuel. I'm gonna go ahead and reject that. Don't really need that at the moment. Next sector, we're gonna go to a Mantis homeworld. The abandoned sector isn't as valuable to me, in my opinion, as uh, the Mantis homeworld, especially because we have Maxwell who could hopefully provide us with a little bit of uh, diplomatic discourse. I think we'll start off with a distress beacon here. We can probably make our way through quite a few of these systems and actually make sure. So it looks like my only option to escape is that one, so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind as we make our way through sector three. My next option for upgrade... Oh, hello there. You find the source of a distress call, a small research station, and it appears a small laboratory fire. Of course, we're going to send the rock crew member in there to take care of it. Fearlessly suppresses the fire. With most of the fire under control, they give us 38 scrap and long-range scanners. That is awesome. That is absolutely fantastic, actually. That made it very much worth, worth my uh, while here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get a little upgrade to the artillery beam there. I certainly want another power bar to get that upgraded as well. Uh, let's see, your long range scanner is going to be fantastic. There's a possible ship in this area. Kind of want to check this out as well, of course. Man, what is uh, what is going on here? Pulsar is flooding this area with electromagnetic forces. Kind of glad I didn't start out going in that direction, actually. Okay. Trying to get back to our homes alive and an engineer by trade and could try to improve. Yeah, I think that's worthwhile. Upgrade the reactor by one. I certainly like that. That gives us everything we wanted, actually. That was a very good trade. I'm certainly happy with that. All right. Let's go kill a ship. Seems like fun, right? All right. Level two shields here. Let's see if we can firebomb this shield room and then dig a little bit of damage to the uh, drone control. Actually, they've got a flat cannon and a laser, so I probably want to take out as much of their uh, weapons as I possibly can. Fire in the shield room will probably do me some good. I'm going to actually set a fire in the drone control system as well. All right. The artillery beam is probably going to have to come into effect here. Unfortunately, they did get their flat cannon offline. Did a little bit of hole damage, not too much. Fire in the drone control is awesome. Although, uh, it is going to be suppressed pretty quickly. They've got a lot of control for uh, onboard threats, so... That's unfortunate for me. I am keeping the flat cannon offline if I manage to damage their weapons room, though, so that basically renders them ineffective. I probably want to stop using firebombs, actually. I don't think these guys are going to be very effective by that. So the firebomb, uh... I'm starting to realize... I probably want to put a lot more effort into upgrading the artillery beam, because the firebomb, unfortunately, is not really offering me the, uh... Oh, God, I probably should have targeted the, uh... All right, I'm going to have to do this. Gonna have to do this and take it back offline because I need uh, I need some damage done to the uh, to the FDL drive there. Luckily, Mister, I'm gonna have to close system doors as well. Mister Allison was actually just uh, upgraded himself to a level two weapon smith, so that's fantastic. I will not accept surrender here. I'm hoping to get a bit more scrap as a result of this fight. Uh, I was in the middle of like two different tangents of thought there. Really, what I'm realizing, yeah, is the fact that I need the. I need the artillery beam upgraded so I can actually pierce through shields a lot more often. Because if if I don't have that, that's gonna that's gonna whittle down my chances of success quite a lot. 
I did manage to fire off another flak gun. Artillery beam fire. The artillery beam actually fired twice in that fight. That's uh, that's kind of crazy. I wonder if the war of attrition is going to be our next phase here. That would certainly be interesting. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Maybe the firebomb wasn't the best purchasing choice. I could certainly have another opportunity to buy a thing if I were to go bam, bam, boing. I could sell the firebomb if I were a uh, if I were a crazy person. Certainly, the civilian ship. Prepare to engage the Mantis ship. Not today. No, sir. I'm gonna save my firebombs here, actually. Fire off the burst laser, immediately disable their weapon system, because that is a big-ass missile launcher, and I do not want any part of that. Good lord. Oh, they diverted the power to it, so hopefully my burst laser gets in, in time before they manage to disable anything. Oh god, maybe the firebomb is necessary. I don't want to be hit by that thing, but... I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna take a chance, see what it does. Oh boy, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, that hurts. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Angie, buddy, you get in there and help him out. That was powerful. Good lord. Alright, burst laser, please. Please take that thing offline. For the love of God. For the love of God, man. That is just ridiculous. Where's it gonna hit now? Okay, so that's a fire in there. That is a lot of damage to the hole. That is three points of hole damage. That is unfortunate. All right, there goes that. Oh my god, it's wonderful. Thank you much. I need to repair the hole, unfortunately. Attempt to contact the civilian ship. The ship you saved was badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer. To be dropped off at a nearby station, we got Maxim the Repairman. So we got a completely full crew now, which is pretty fantastic. Please put that fire out. Thank you very much. Okay. My goodness. This is kind of insane. I'm going to take a little bit of this out of here, put it in the med bay. Bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Maxim, you, sir, you can stay on this side of the ship. We'll have, we'll have all the rock people stay together as though we're promoting segregation as a way of life. And uh, there we go. Bam. Back to posts. Save the positions. All right. Ah, you know. Things could be going better, but I'm all right. I'm all right with what's going down right now. Your ship would make a mighty fine prize! Oh, hey, you chose the wrong ship to board, buddy. To prepare to be stoned. Literally. Shaboopy. Oh, what you doing? Just, just coming face to face with the rock threat of a lifetime. I'm gonna go ahead and launch a firebomb at these fools. Let's see. Let's damage this room right here. Take that auto fire off. There we go. Want those sensors back online, so let's quickly dispose of this mantis threat. Man, they're not even going to teleport him back. They just left him to die. What a dick move. Mantis ship. Oh, God. They have a massive missile launcher as well. Jesus Christ. Why do so many ships have that thing? That is unfortunate. All right. I'm going to have to deal some more damage here. Let's go ahead and use another firebomb. Man, what happened to all my missiles? I guess I did trade them for something, but holy crap. This is killing me. All right. Don't really need this. Oh, my God. The thing keeps launching. Stop it. Stop doing that, damn it! Oh, there we go. Forget this. Prepare for retreat. Blah 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 blah. I'm a master ship. I'm stupid. There's a lot of fire going on in there. Holy cow! All right. Oh my god, another fire chance. That's fantastic. I need to heal some folks. I don't think the artillery beam is gonna fire again, but I'd much rather uh, take the chance of the O2 coming out. Not gonna take anybody off their post just yet. Keep this going. Fire has completely disabled the weapons room. You know, I might actually... Hang on a second here. There's the off chance that I could possibly just kill all their crew, which would yield a lot more supplies to me. I'm going to take the burst laser off auto-fire. I'm going to give this a chance to maybe, uh... Maybe kill these crew members, because this fire is spreading pretty damn rampantly, and I'm not really sure they're going to be able to do anything about it. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to wait this out. I think I've got a good chance here. I'm actually going to take my crew in and, uh... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, God. I also need to heal my hole. Holy shit. Okay. Anyway. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but that's fine. Not a big deal. All right. Back into the pilot seat. And Maxwell's almost healed up as well. Good job, buddy. Yaz is good. Yaz is good. He is a good man, isn't he? Okay. O2 is actually needing to get back online right the hell now. Okay. We're all right. We're all right. I'm going to have to make a trip to the store here. 
Perhaps, uh, perhaps sell my firebomb in favor of something much better. Let's see what kind of offers they have here. Nothing. Well, that's a damn shame. Shit. Okay, let's see what this is. System repair drone. No, that's... Jesus Christ, this is shitty. All right, well, let's just buy this thing. I'm going to actually sell this beam drone. I don't think I'm going to buy drone control at all. Mine control is good. Let's fix up the hole quite a hell of a lot. Back up to green territory. I'm going to keep the rest of this stuff, and uh, we'll call that good. Okay. Need power for mine control. Probably should have kept enough to get another power bar, but that's just fine. We'll probably just take it out of the uh, artillery beamer. I don't, know. I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure it out. Freaking figure it out later. Who gives a damn? Who gives a damn? Overcharge shield sucks, but we can't actually start a fire. Ask me if I started the fire. My answer is absolutely without question. I'm gonna go like that. Self-teleporting firebomb actually missed. I think that's a result of the overcharged shield, so that's a bummer. You know what? I think I want to do this. Power that. I'm an idiot. Never mind. <laughs> gonna whittle that down first. Oh man, I need another power bar. I need another power bar straight away. Let's see if I can get this firebomb in there somewhere. God damn it! They've got another one of these massive missile launchers! Oh jeez, it missed! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's wonderful. Alright, let's let the artillery beam charge. It's already like halfway there, so we might as well. Oh, I need this thing to go away, though. I really need it to go away! Why is it always the first weapon, too? God damn it! Oh, the damage! Oh my god, it's so painful. Alright, the firebomb's available again. I need these two to go help out real quick. I don't really need to see inside this ship right now. My fan is gonna run away. He's gonna get back in this med bay. Artillery beam cuts through. That's fantastic. They launched another missile. How in the world did we let that happen? The weapon's offline. God damn it. All right, hang on a second. We need to do uh, we need to do something here. No, that's not gonna work out either. All right, so their weapons are offline, so this is okay. O2 goes out in favor of the med bay. Uh, you, sir, need to go help out instead of standing around like a doofus. You need to go help your rock friend heal up these weapon systems because that is not going to bode well for us if I manage to just let that sit. Oh god, I love the sound of a bunch of rocks hammering onto some metal. That is just pleasant. Oh, the hole's at 50% now. Good god, let's get this burst laser charging again. Luckily, the artillery beam is still online, so not all is lost. Back to posts. Keep things afloat here. Firebomb doesn't really need to be online, which means I can probably power the mind control, then hopefully do that. And uh, allow myself the opportunity to potentially end the mission right here and now. A surrender of five missiles is actually pretty good for me. I'm going to go ahead and take that offer. And uh, buy another power bar so we can utilize everything we've got. Take the power out of the med bay, put it in the O2. Go like that, go like that, and... Uh, no, that's not really what I wanted to do. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and go like this as well. Cool! Okay. Allison needs to heal up. Let's go like this real fast. Take this offline. My fan, you might as well go in there as well just for safekeeping. Cool. Okay. It's not bad. I've had better situations, but we're not... We're not boned. That's all I can ask for, right? To not be boned. I mean, if I if I had to ask Santa for one special Christmas present, be a... Uh, be a saline vehicle, but also not to be boned. That would be priority numero dos. Okay. Mind control is actually available at the moment. This Mantis warship has itself a uh, flat cannon, as well as a little bit of dinky laser there, so that's not a big of a deal. Uh, the intruder on board is uh, solo, and he'll be quickly dispatched by my rock crew member, so I'm actually going to go ahead and go like this. Take off quite a bit of the evasion chance and disable their weapon system, hopefully, so I don't have to be hit by that flat cannon very, very much at least. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and set off a firebomb inside of there as well. Uh, you two need to go in here and fight this feller. And I'm going to take that off auto fire. And we'll be just fine. Okay. Cool. Oh, actually, that's a small bomb. Oh, that is not a flat cannon at all. I completely misread that situation. That's a damn shame. All right. Back to posts, everybody. Let's get the sensors going on inside that ship again, see what's going down. First laser fires away, keep those weapons offline, keep the damage to the crew members inside of that area. Engines are completely down, I just realized. I should probably have Trico go in there and help out with that as well as Karis because we don't really need the extra door level at the moment. Artillery beam. Oh, I just realized we only have two power in there as well. That's a dumb thing I did. Man, I need to be more aware of a lot of stuff. Back to posts. Yaz actually needs to heal up, so you can go ahead and hear, buddy. Bam, bam, bam. 
Oh, you know what? I just realized. Hang on a second. Let's go like this. There goes the artillery beam. Fantastic. We got mind control again. We're going to utilize it on this feller. Fantastic. Deals more damage. Small bomb unfortunately got through, but it didn't actually deal any damage because they're a bunch of dummies. And uh, I think we're going to be okay just letting the burst laser finish off the job here. Should not be a problem. Boom, boom, boom. Got it. Fantastic. Okay. 23 scrap. We got to power up the med bay, of course. So let's go like this. Actually, I don't need to do that at the moment. Let's just go ahead and take the power off the artillery beam here. Awesome. Maxwell goes to heal up. Maxim goes to heal up. Maxim Magazine needs a kneel up. A knee up on the competition, right? Am I right? Shots fired at Maxim Magazine, the, the makers of which I'm sure are mega fans of the Bear Place FTL series. Let's go ahead and head over to the exit. I actually might be able to do this. I think I'll be fine just going up to this area and try to get... A little bit more value out of my time here. Except it's valueless, so that's a bunch of balls, but oh well. Alright, 33 scrap. We can go ahead and head right there. No ship, but hopefully something. Uh, intruders on board! Okay, that's a bunch of shoot. Oh god, whatever. Just just deal with them. Just kill them, man. Bring my Manus friend over and we'll just massacre these guys. Could suffocate him, but this is more fun, right? Come on, but Come on, buddy. Join the fight. Join the fray, young Rock Walden! Heed my calls of impotence! Thank you for manning our systems. GM Fah, I know him! He's mind controlled. We're gonna have to kill him in a minute here. Hold on. Be ready for this. Be ready for him to turn his back on you. He's a traitor! There he goes. Oh, he's dead. Alright, wonderful. Good! Go heal up. Power out of that. Power out of that. Only two folks took damage there. That's interesting. Oh my goodness. Should probably consider level 2 of med bay and O2 at some point here. In fact, I might just do that now. Ah, it's too expensive. Damn. Damn it! I'm beginning to wonder if I made the correct purchasing decisions for a lot of this thing, but uh... Oh well. Not a big deal. Back to posts, and let's get out of here. Boom, baby! Now! FTL Drive needs to be powered up. Let's see. When at first this seems to be a simple nebula, it's actually filled with a good amount of debris from brutal exchange between several ships. Records to drift by your screen. Doubles. Bah, 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 bah. Disappointed you prepared to jump. Damn it. Ah, shucks. Ah, shucks. That's fine. The next sector is going to be energy controlled territory. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right, guys. That'll do it for this episode of FTL Advanced Edition. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Really appreciate that. Helps out quite a bit. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.